Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Golden God eighty seven, back with Red Dead two again. Now, this mission will be the next one with Dutch. We're back at this is the mission after Urban Pleasures, where we botched that robbery in Saint Denis. And once you leave there successfully, you still have. I mean, I don't know what your bounty if it's going to be the same one hundred and sixty five dollars. You end up blasting your way out of there, but. We're back here, and we're going to see what this next Dutch mission is. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button, click the like button down below, and leave a comment. Alright, let's start this. We made a whole $12.25. So, Arthur, robbery. you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? But deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Country Angelo Bronte pursuits. don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his I like Hosea, but I don't like Dutch. Doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job I mean, that we are ever going to Morgan... Pull. Before I mean, he's like straight out, up the Marvel we are man. Be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti, farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me, Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard... I know it's gonna come down to me either betraying him right. or not. Uh, if you say so. Quit Probably gonna have Arthur. to. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. He's making things worse, not better. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's says jump. mansion from Morgan the swamp. says how high. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for kind rational thought. Kind of pisses thought, me off Arthur. that we have the same looking horse. <laughs> I decked mine okay, all out though. Girl. Go to the stables. It's it's worth the money. Like buying a new saddle, stirrups, a whole okay, nine yards. Follow me. So you can see on the map where we are here. We got Shady Bell. That's our camp, Shady Bell. I was thinking about turning around before going to the next mission, which was only to go to Dutch, and going back to St. Dennis to see if I could pay the bounty off, but... I figured this lawmen they post up at the Thank post you. office. For what? Like For taking my side back droves. It ain't about sides. Sometimes sometimes Feels it's like, like impossible to go back spine. for a little bit. This move for a decent Bronte. amount of time. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out. Seem to have forgotten. 
forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With I'm the one that's like Dutch, putting much into the camp funds. Is this plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. I've is upgraded the camp. Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out to together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And Damn soon. Old Driscoll's. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. If you haven't played the first Red Dead Redemption, play that first before you play this. It'll make a lot more sense with John Marston. Thomas! It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close Coat's to all our dirty. Prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Heard that. Mr. Dutch, if you keep a lookout for company, Mr. Arthur, check the traps a little. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Hurry up, man. Have a great day. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. 
Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. We got one. Well, we gonna eat some gumbo tonight. Sooner we get this done, sooner I can help you boys. Oh boy. Whatever the hell they eat down so. Never had a pogo in my life, which is sad. So I do love shrimp. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just Ooh. stay as still as you can. No, I'm gonna make a lot of noise. All right. I wanna Let's kill it moving. so I can skin it. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. That's just pushing me like that. Is there a stick My of dynamite? God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Damn way I would ever do this job. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Yeah, sure. Keep your eyes open. I'll go down the way the five, three or five crocodiles are going. Uh, at least I got my guns out. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that right. Fuck it, let's just sort on it. Try to. Someone there? Jules? Hey! 
Someone there? To do climb up this way. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... No. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think you Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a the scale it's over here yeah. stop I said I didn't I didn't encounter one of them. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Well, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here. If the gun's loaded, you'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Help! 
I get you, Sim. I got you. Oh, God, no. He's probably right behind. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. Oh, God, no! Please, sir! I got you covered! Oh, my stamina is almost gone. Let me go in the dead eye, but it wouldn't let me pop the X on. There's one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. I was going the right way. <laughs> what the hell just happened? He just bled out. I hate that, like, especially when you fish, like. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. Like, why can't okay, they both son. help me? You're gonna be okay. Oh, uh, okay. Boy, I was going I the wrong that. way. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I put some of that gunpowder on it. Try to light it on fire. I stopped the blade. Cauterize it. I think you'll be okay if he don't I want get to go a fever. Gator hunting. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you. say I can't even oh I don't even have my uh Stand ahead of us you see him shoot no I don't
Screw that. I want to kill that now. thing and skin it. You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You'll be safe. We got muscles out here. Well. All right, so that's the mission, Country Pursuits. That was actually a really cool mission. This is Golden God 87. Make sure you click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.